Well, BBC News can reveal that the NHS in England has bought hundreds of thousands of oxygen monitors for patients with coronavirus to use at home in an attempt to save lives. It follows research which suggests even a small reduction in oxygen levels can be a warning sign of a dangerous deterioration with COVID-19. The devices are being given to patients aged 65 and over and others at high risk in an unprecedented rollout. Our health correspondent Sophie Hutchinson has this report. It could have ended completely differently. So, you know, I suppose I do all of my life, really. Dorset, where they've taken the fight against the coronavirus into people's homes. Lessons learned from the first wave have highlighted the danger of leaving some patients to sit out the infection alone. We have seen people who are critically low on oxygen and we've heard stories of people dying at home because they haven't been recognised. So I do think this simple bit of kit really could save your life. The bit of kit is a small, relatively cheap device known as an oximeter, which measures oxygen levels in the blood. Covid-positive patients like Michael Kerr, who are aged 65 and over, or who are at risk, are now being given the devices by GPs in England and then monitored. Yep. Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, I feel certainly Oximeters are seen as vital because some patients with the virus are not breathless, despite having low oxygen levels. This dangerous condition is known as silent hypoxia. It should be reassuring for not only me, but the family as well. Yeah. Research during the pandemic has shown that even relatively small drops in oxygen levels can be an early warning sign of serious illness. A reading of 95% and above is considered normal. At 93 and 94%, patients are now told to contact their GP or call 111. But if it's 92% or below, people are asked to recheck it, and if it's the same, go straight to A&E. It's like stiff upper lip, isn't it? You just sort of think, I'm all right, I'll be OK, I can get on. Hospital is where Denise Nicholson ended up. She says even though she felt unwell, without the support, she would never have known her oxygen levels were dangerously low. If it hadn't have been for the monitoring service, um, I don't think it would have been picked up. I don't think that I, it would have been highlighted that I had COVID pneumonia. I think I would have tried to continue to battle on at home. So grateful for having that service. And if they hadn't have come and they hadn't have decided to take me into hospital, it could have ended completely differently. So, you know, I suppose I do all of my life, really. And doctors behind the scheme say small tweaks to patient care can make a huge difference. Prevention is, is nearly always better than the cure. And whilst ventilators are really important in treating people who are seriously unwell with COVID, a simple intervention like an oximeter is probably just as important because by getting to patients earlier, we can hopefully prevent their severe deterioration and potentially their future need for a ventilator in an intensive care admission. And because of the impact of COVID-19 on the lungs, doctors believe everyone should now have an oximeter at home. They're convinced these small devices can save lives. Sophie Hutchinson, BBC News.